Hello, good day, wherever you are. My name is Bishop Clement, and right now I'm broadcasting live all the way from near Mount Kilimanjaro here in East Africa. And I want to be able to let you know one thing that I know that your life will never be the same again. I want to take this opportunity to greet all of you in the name of Jesus and just to be able to let you know that God loves you and God cares for you. At this moment, we are here on a just short, you know, you know, um, uh, 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 Sabbath holiday. Uh, and, and while I'm here, right in the midst of this jungle, I've been hearing the voice of God very clear, especially where your life is concerned. Uh, I want you quickly, without not wasting any more time, let's just open up with a word of prayer. Father, this one, I thank you, and I give all the honor, all the praise, and all the glory. Thank you right now for all our viewers, whatever they are, Lord, I bless them in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing of God upon their life. For the Lord God, you've given me the tongue of the Lamb that I may not to speak a word in season for them that are weary. Father, thank you for favor, blessing, and breakthrough. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You know one thing, the Spirit of God has been speaking to me, especially to make sure for the next couple of days I'll be releasing some daily prophetic word where your life is concerned. And today, when I was reading and meditating in the Word of God from this vast jungle, you know, where there is tranquility of the mind and tranquility of the spirit, you know, I've been reading my Bible intensively. Uh, and I want you right now, you join with me in the book of First Samuel chapter 23, and I want to read quickly from verse from verse, um, um, uh, quickly, go with me quickly to uh, verse 19. And it says here now, then th then came up to Zephi to Saul to give their saying, does not David hide himself with us in the stronghold in the wood, in the hill of Hakila, which is on the south of Jeshua? Now therefore, king, come down according to all the desires of thy soul, to come down, and our part just to deliver him into the king's heart. You know, Bible begins to tell us, you know, David was, you know, on his own mission. You know, he wasn't what God has called him to do, you know, trying to establish his life. You know, he's not bothering anybody. You know, he has no intention of harming anybody. All what David was doing, he was fulfilling the will of God for his life. He was trying to establish what God had ordained him to be. Remember David, you know, a man of God came to his home and anointed him when nobody knew about him. David never planned to harm anybody. No, 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 no. David did not like what belongs to other people, but he was always rejoicing to what belongs to him. But the Bible begins to tell us that suddenly Saul, you know, the, you know, the king of Israel became so terrified, became so jealous when he saw the favor of God and the blessing of the Lord upon David. And the Bible says he began to chase him all over the place. But now in verse 19, I want you to pay attention. Remember, I want you to read from the book of 1 Samuel, verse 23, from verse 19. The Bible says, then came up the Ziphites to Saul in Gibeah. Who are the Ziphites? Who are the Ziphites? Ziphites are people that are always once, always, they cannot sleep until they have betrayed somebody. David had done Ziphites nothing wrong. But these people, out of nowhere, they volunteered to be able to go uh, on and betrayed David to King Saul. And the Bible says, actually, they went all the way there. Uh, and they went over and, uh, uh, and they told King Saul. Nobody called them. Nobody asked for help. They went over there and they went and volunteered and approached King Saul and says, you know one thing, we know where David is and we're going to find where he is. We know exactly where he is and we are going to betray him and we're going to put him into Our job will be to deliver him into your hands. But let me tell you one thing, children God, the Bible begins to tell us, King Saul told them, go ahead. They were expecting a reward. You know, the Lord is speaking to me. There is someone that you're watching this program right now. There are people who actually they enjoy betraying you. There are people who would love to they nothing that there, there is there's something not right within them. But the Bible begins to tell us, and I want you to realize the Bible says Saul mounted thousands and hundreds of soldiers and they came looking for them. But somehow, somewhere, the Bible says the Spirit of God told David, you know one thing, get out of where you are because somebody is about to betray you. And the Bible says David moved from one place to another place. Uh, and the Bible begins to say, the Bible says that, you know, the people that were betraying David, they were able to locate where he was. So they told King Saul exactly where he was. And David means were terrified, but David trusted in the Lord. And this is what I want you to understand. I feel so strong in my spirit that, that there is somebody that has been trying to betray you. Somebody is always planning to bring you down. The Bible says, Saul came.
came with an army, a vast amount of army, and the Bible said they surrounded David where he was. The men of David were worried, but David kept hoping and trusting in God. And the Bible tells us when David was completely surrounded, almost the last minutes when they almost captured him, the Bible says suddenly a message came to Saul that the Philistines uh, they have attacked his country. The Philistines have, have attacked his interest. And the Bible tells us in, in, in verse 27, But there came a messenger to Saul, saying, Hasty thee, and come, for the Philistines have invaded the land. Wherefore Saul returned from pursuing after David, and went against the Philistines. Therefore they called the place Selah Hamakel. And David went out from there and he dwelt in the stronghold of England. Let me share with you something very interesting. When David was cornered, when Saul cornered David, when he thought he's about to have, when David was completely worried and he knew right now, if God does not intervene and finish, that time Jehovah got himself involved. And the Bible says suddenly Saul received a message. That the Philistines have invaded the land and he had to abort that mission to destroy David and he had now to go back and fight the Philistines. I am speaking to you, every soul that has been pursuing you. And I can see there is somebody that you're watching this program where your work is concerned, where your life is concerned, where your health is concerned. And I feel so strong in my spirit that you look as if right now they're about to squeeze you in. They're about to capture you. They're about to destroy you. But I came to let you know right now, I feel so strong in my spirit as I speak right now. Uh, and then the Bible says, David called that place Selah Hamakul. In, 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 in short, the Bible began begins to tell us that, that that place was called, this is amazing, that, that, that I, I, I want you to see this, this is amazing, this is, this actually the place was called Sela Hamakot, it means a place of diversion, a place of diversion, I see somebody who is so much focused with destroying you, I see somebody who is focused on frustrating you, but right now I speak, the same God that delivered David on the last minute, right now I call upon that power, the same angels that were able to activate a di diversion where Saul was concerned, and the last minute when you almost captured David, he turned his back he had to go and fight new enemies, right now I declare, may the Lord raise up enemies against your enemies. Anyone that has not been giving you peace, may the Lord right now cause people not to give them peace in the name of Jesus. So right now, I prophesy into your life wherever you are right now. I want you to go to the phone. I want you to call the telephone number that is on the screen. Or whatever it is, or call our prayer room right now. Now, we want to come in agreement with you. The Bible says Matthew 18, 19, where two shall come in agreement as touching and asking anything in the name of the Lord shall be done for them. I want you to stretch up your hands right now towards this screen and right now begin to pray with me in the name of Jesus. Father, right now as we come in agreement, right now where my people, my friends, my, 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 my people are concerned right now, my spiritual children, my friends, my partners, whatever they are, Father, I ask you today for a divine diversion. I declare, Lord, for double D, divine diversion. That right now, let everything be diverted away from there. Let every obstacle, every confusion, every frustration, every attack be diverted away from them. And Father, Lord, divert their enemy right now towards their own problem. Divert their enemies right now towards their own trouble. Divert their problems, their enemies right now towards their own whatever it is. Lord, like the way you did for so Lord, I declare right now, divert every spiritual soul, every financial soul, every physical soul that has been assigned to harm my people, I command you to turn back in the name of Jesus. And right now, Father, I thank you for that last minute that come miracle in Jesus' name. If that is you right now, I want you to send me an email. I want you to send me a prayer. Whatever you are, your life will never be the same again. God bless you and I love you. And I'll see you again tomorrow at the same time in the same program. Bye for now. I'll check your Facebook again tomorrow for a word of prophecy concerning your life. Check your Facebook, check your YouTube, whatever it is. And you know one thing, call our prayer line right now. We want to be able to pray with you because we believe in the prayer of agreement. God bless you so much and I love you so much. Bye for now.
from all way right now from some national park is leadership promises i love you and i'll see you again tomorrow at the same time the phone sound we're going to hear is bonds and onions thank you <laughs>